Now, it turned out that the following morning, when he was to move the motion, although prior to that, he came to my Senate President mansion. I'm no more there. He came and told me that he wasn't going to move that motion. <laughs> I said, why? He said, one, uh, the owner of the majority shareholder of AIT happened to be from his own part of the world. And uh, the Nigerians have gotten so used to watching the proceedings in the parliament, in the Senate in particular that he wasn't going to uh, take that. It's very risky for him to do that. I said, okay, go and tell the people who asked you to move the motion. He said, okay, he, 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 he figure out what to do. The following morning, as I sat at the, snip, at the presiding desk, it turned out that his seat was vacant. Because, you see, after the morning rituals, the votes and proceedings and all the rest of it, then I'll call on the Senate Majority Leader to come with the other paper. I will shout, Senate Leader, other paper, please. And before, after saying that, a senator who has any motion will now say, point of order. I say, order what? He said, you mentioned the other. So no person said anything. I looked at the gentleman's seat, the senator's seat, it was gone. Because <laughs> The, the, the way the, the, the parliament I mean, the, is crafted is such a convex type of thing. You stay in your seat, you, you look down like this, you see every person. You see every seat. It's well, it's architectural, this thing. So, the pleasure continued. In the evening, I was invited again. I said, how come this thing is still going on? We are told to make sure that the cameras, everybody is out. You guys should go ahead and do what you want to do, and then uh, anybody who is not satisfied, can I go and uh, uh, take a court action? I say, well, no motion was moved, and I'm not in position to move one. There was noise and quiet, and people were bitter and so on. After the exchange of words, uh, hot words but for that, uh, the thing continued. I said, what do I do? I can't move a motion. So uh, my problem was, it's like tongue, between the upper and lower molars, you see. You, you, you are colleagues are watching out. The executive branch is watching out. If, if you go this way, your colleagues will say, ah, you're in Batova. If you go the other way, the, the executive will say you are the problem. So uh, we kept on playing that cat and mouse game until uh, we, we, we got to a point that required courage. Because you see, the, the Nigerian constitution, actually, there are some areas that requires money beating. There's no question about that. And I had suggested earlier in the game that let them split the, the, the bill, you know, the, the thing they sent to us, split into about three or four, the legislative one, the judiciary, and the executive one, and the, all the others, so that we have four bills or three, five, any, but to lump everything together. If there's any legislative defect along the process, remember what I said, the process is more important. If there's any, any error, anything, the whole thing will go. Even the, the, the good ones, like uh, you may talk about creation of states and uh, Section 308, the immunity clause and all not. Very important things we should change. But how do you do that? It's all, all, that all embedded in one bill, one bill. So when we, we got to a point of no return, and it turned out that, uh, that I was 16th of May, the gallery was more than filled up. I don't know where they got the impression. Falana, somebody talked about Falana today. Yeah, see, the, himself and his group, and, <laughs> you know, they, they were everywhere. Everywhere. Agbakoba, so many of them, they were there. Governors or Shoba. So, uh, we got to a point that a decision has to be taken. It was risky because, but that single moment, I, I would say it was because I'm sure it was God that did it. It's not just me as an, an individual. Maybe God used me to do what happened because I'm sure by now we would have been more than Somalia. Yes. By far. Because I've never seen a thing in Nigeria that cut across whether you're Igbo, Yoruba, or Hausa, you flani. It didn't matter. Every person, if you care to listen, was totally opposed to uh, that tenor elongation aspect. And the, the, the government had thought that if you had 
coated the, the internal elongation with sugar or saccharine, anything that is so sweet, honey, that uh, people can take it. And that's why they refuse to split the thing to various bills. So when it happened the way it did, I put the question, as, as I've always done in ordinary bills, because it's a bill, when it was negative, all that was required was the courage to say it has been negative and pronounce it so. Yes, I had good pleasure all over because I knew the implication of what will happen. Uh, and it happened that way. People were shocked looking at me, even the, the, the proponents, the people that were very much involved in the, in the whole exercise. That's our show for this week. I'm Ugoji Ugoji, reporting from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. Until next week, I wish you peace, liberty, and justice. May you become all that you're destined to be. All Drums is presented by Sungai Corporation, publishers and consultants.